Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we're jumping straight into a battle with two very, very dangerous ships here. We've got a Halo Frigate on the right, we've also got a Star Wars Droid Carrier on the left. These are two universes that would probably never meet within reality, but let's just see who can come out on top. Now, being at a little bit of disadvantage, the Star Wars ship doesn't have its usual array of laser weaponry because it is Space Engineers. I've had to supplement it with something that would be a little bit more balanced, so to say. So we can see we've got the USNC faction type ship moving in. We've got all the weapons firing. Its missile turrets are mainly located on the bottom, and you can see there's a lot of Gatling gun fire being exchanged between them. And this fire can really cause some serious damage. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Onto the side of the ship, you can see it's starting to chew it up. Uh-oh, it looks like it's got in the direction of the missile launchers, though. And this is when it's going to start to cause some real damage when it starts to tuck in behind these missile launchers. Ship's going into a slight roll. Fingers crossed that the remote control block aboard that ship hasn't been hit. But it is moving a little bit unusually. Uh-oh, I think it's moved right in position for a volley of rockets to come out of the Star Wars ship from the side. This could be quite deadly if we're not too careful. It looks like it's just avoided it by maybe a few millimetres. Oh, there we go. There's the volley of rockets coming out of one of the turrets. Very, very dangerous indeed. It looks like it's beginning to start making a move, making a little bit of a turn. Possibility that the reactor has been damaged. A lot of damage. That must be the missiles that have been hitting it. It has gone into full thrust. It's trying to slow itself down at any cost. It looks like the Star Wars ship has done some serious damage to the Halo Frigate. Now, no wonder, because it is packing some serious heat. Let's see if he's going to attempt to try to get back. Or we'll have to run the simulation once again. So it looks like he's drifting left and right. Remote control block could be damaged aboard as well. But overall, looks at the Star Wars ship, not too much damage. Main focus of the fire was at the engine pack. Let's have a look at the Halo craft. So, there we go. No, he's actually trying to get himself back on port force. So, he's kind of looks like he's lost a lot of thrusters in one direction. So, he can't slow himself down. Yeah, it looks like he's lost thrusters on the top. So, if he can slow himself down in any way and get back on course, he could still bring quite a fight to the Star Wars ship because it looks like the reactors have been knocked out and it's moving a lot slower under that hydrogen power. So there we go. You can see it drifting over the top there. It's still quite far away. It's not got any antennas on, so I can't judge the distance. But it looks like the Star Wars drone carrier or droid carrier is making a little bit of a break for it if it can. Very, very cool indeed. Yes, it's reduced its speed and it is going back in for a second attack. Look at that. We've got some serious weapons aboard the Halo ship still. We've got these really nice cannons on the deck that can do some serious damage. And if it attacks from the front, it can use its large blaster type cannons if they're still intact it's just a factor of coming in at a very weak angle and if he does approach from the top of the star wars ship you could see that he can do a lot of damage to it as he does a quick drive by he just doesn't want to get underneath where them rocket launchers are in position so he's moving in going a little bit closer we've not got too many missile launcher turrets look like they've left there's a few on that deck we've taken a lot of gatling gun fire from the star wars ship Gonna have to see if he can return any at the moment. Missile turrets haven't locked onto target, but it looks like we are going to get a volley off. There we go, volley of the missile turrets is starting to go. If he can fire all of them at once and roll himself into a position, he's gonna do some serious damage. There we go, missile turrets are going out, slowly one by one. Let's have a look at what sort of damage we've got going here. Most of it's going to like the wingtips of the ship. The Star Wars ship is tilting under the pelt of fire from it. Wow, that is the angle you want to be in. You can just see... Oh, oh no, he looks like he's going to start to go below the missile turret layer. He needs to slow himself down. The Star Wars ship is starting to tilt himself ever so slightly upwards, but maybe his remote control block could have been damaged. Missile shots are still going in. And as soon as he comes lower than this line, that is when these missiles are going to open up. And he's going to be killed very, very quickly if he's not too careful. Let's have a look at the damage that he's inflicting on the ship, though. A lot of damage still. A lot of damage in the core areas. Oh, and he's dropping below that level. No, no, he's not. He's managed to force the Star Wars ship back with some more of the rocket fire. Let's have a look at the Halo ship, what's going on here. So, yeah, it looks like the missiles on the bottom of the hull are doing most of the damage here. 
as he's kind of cruising past, he's impacting it. This is not what I expected. I expected the um, droid carrier to do a lot more damage, but now he's rotated around. Maybe if he brings the turrets around to the other side, he can continue engaging. A very interesting fight between these two ships. Even though they're on remote control blocks, they're doing things that I really didn't expect. Let's have a look back over here. Look at that, he's tearing apart that side. Oh, the missile turrets have opened up on the Star Wars ship. This is not going to be good for him. A lot of damage is going to be exchanged here if we're not careful. Both of the ships are starting to drop down. We know the Halo ship has thrusters out on one side, so if he loses maneuverability on another, he's going to be floating out. Oh no, have they been sucked into a gravity well, or have they just been impacted extremely hard? Looks like they're both trying to do some serious evasive maneuvers. Whatever was going on there, and they're drifting apart from each other. So looking at the damage after that first sort of engagement, it could be quite equal to be fair. Let's have a look at the... Um, the halo ship if we can find it out there in the bloody mist and there it is so let's have a look at what sort of damage there i'd say the damage is quite equal the halo ship is a little bit smaller in size but lots of the armor has kind of withstood a lot of the damage even though it's got more missiles the star wars ship the armor on the halo frigate is far better we'll launch one more quick round to make a decider on this so we're beginning round two now, what we've got going on here is the Halo ship is going to be attacking from a slightly different angle. The droid ship is going to be maneuvered slightly different as well. So you can see it's been given a little bit more time so it can attempt to turn around. Because before, the way the Halo ship attacked it, to give it a little bit more of a chance, it did attack it from behind. And I think that's what might happen again here. I give it a few extra minutes. But he's still closing in on the target extremely fast. And with them large 300mm cannons that he's got at the top to like replicate his torpedo launchers, he could cause some serious damage. But if the Star Wars ship reaches the other side of his waypoint and then begins to turn, he's going to be in some serious trouble. And that Star Wars ship can turn pretty fast if it wants to, as we saw in the previous battle. But it looks like he's managed to get himself in a position. Rear batteries open up. Some damage has been done. Thrusters have been engaged to the front. Vulcan miniguns are opening up. Oh god, there's a lot of damage going to the front of that ship. That can't be good. Batteries are opening up on the Halo ship. It looks like the pilot of the Halo ship this time though has decided not to really use his missile launchers, so to say. Because he's not positioned himself very well. The Star Wars ship is now turning into the actual firefight. So there's Gatling gun fire going out everywhere. Missile turrets are getting themselves into position. When this battery goes off, it is going to be pretty much game over the Halo ship if he doesn't eliminate them quickly. This is what you really want to worry about here. Now he's getting his forward cannons online. He's got the 300mm tucked in there to replicate his sort of turbo lasers and whatnot. That's a lot of damage going towards the Halo ship now. A lot of the weapons on this side look like they've been kind of made redundant or they're even stopped working they've still got some deck cannons firing when that guy fires it's going to cause some damage but it looks like that oh it just got blown right off he needs to make some maneuvers very very quickly or he's going to be in some trouble here he's pretty much receiving the full brunt of everything the star wars ships actually got he needs to flip them missiles over and cause some damage missiles look like they're kind of rotating into a position but they're doing it very very slowly if you can just get that first battery off He's going to do some serious damage. Maybe even just get them Vulcan turrets out. There we go. That's a missile wave off. We've got impacts along the ship. Just need a few more of them volleys going before he gets pushed away. Oh, there we go. You can see what's happening here. Since he's lost the thrusters on one side now, he's starting just to get pushed away by the volley and the amount of fire that's coming towards him. Not good at all. He's trying to fight it off, but the missile launch has now been put out of position. Looks like they launched a shot into the bridge area. Some of the shots have impacted a little bit lower, but he is outside the, well, the missile launching battery. I'm not too sure on what to call it in this situation. If the Star Wars ship gets the drop on the Halo ship, it can do a lot of damage to it, as you can see. But as we saw before, when the Halo ship got into a pretty advantageous position, it did a lot of damage to the Star Wars ship. So what I'm going to do is, since it's been quite indecisive, I'm going to let you decide in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and the links to these ships will also be linked in the description below, so you can have a play with them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.